Welcome to the next episode of the Skillet Podcast, where I will be talking about food. Food sure is a thing that I eat, and to be food, it is food. Oh, let's talk about vegetables. Vegetables don't taste good, you know? Nobody likes vegetables. They all taste terrible. Like, why should I eat the ugly, awful thing just because it's healthy? No, nobody wants vegetables on their good tasting food. So, yeah, yeah, but there's some vegetables that are good, but I do agree on your statement. Look, it, really, it's the only vegetables that ain't, like, awful is, like, broccoli and that type of stuff. And I talk Orange about, like... pretty good. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, the ones that taste weird. I don't like peppers. Uh, peppers don't taste that good. Mm. Then there's like, I don't like lettuce. It's just yeah. Yeah. Cucumber just tastes like watermelon rind. Did you grow up just like the thought like lettuce and leaves were basically the same thing? Yeah. That's all that lettuce is. Lettuce, yeah. cabbage, ain't it all just leaves? It's just leaves, and that's all that is. Who wants to yeah. eat mouthfuls of leaves? I ain't a rabbit. Or giraffe. Yeah. Or oh, was it a herbivore? I, I don't eat I herbs. So. I don't eat only, only herbs. Eat your herbs. I only eat the herbs and spices at like KFC. Man. Man, herbs and spices are weird. They're just like, ah, oh, yes, I found this rock and I ate it and it tasted pretty good. Hmm. It's like, ah, oh, yes, I found this plant. You know what I'm going to do with this plant? I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to cut it up very small and put it all over my food. To make it smell better. Uh Huh? That's just crazy, man. What's what's your favorite seasonings? I don't really have a favorite seasoning, I'll be honest. Salt. Uh, yeah, I got salt and pepper. Like I got salt and pepper. Like they both are yeah. pretty good. Plus on the food, yeah. and how much you have on it. Then there's just like whatever random seasoning that goes well with whatever random food I'm having. Yeah. But what about sauces, though? Oh, what's your favorite sauce? I like Polynesian, but my Chick Fil A. Those ones are pretty good. Yeah, so like I, I used to really like ranch, but I kind of toned it down. I toned down with ranch. Yeah, it usually depends it on much. like where I'm eating at. Like if yeah. it's like somewhere like Chick Fil A, yeah, I'm getting Polynesian for my nuggets. But it's like yeah, if I'm at like Poly- Zaxby's, it's like I'm gonna get uh, yeah. Zaxby's. Like I'm always just usually gonna get the whatever their special yeah, sauces. They're... Yeah, but I I usually just put plunge on like a chicken sandwich as well sometimes. Yeah, I usually just get nuggets. Yeah, when it comes to like, when it comes with like, the whole ranch thing, it's like, if it's like a, I, I only really use ranch as like kind of like a dip, really. Yeah. It would usually be like, like I used to have a chicken nuggets, but now I started to kind of tone it to more kind of like, sometimes for like, like kind of like grilled chicken breast, I sometimes mm. do that. The only do time that, I but have ranch really is with like... As much. The only times I've had ranches with carrots. Not too. Carrots are just like the least, I guess, like vegetable tasting vegetable. Yeah. I, I, like, yeah, I like I like ranch. Like I liked ranch, but I always had like a limit to how much yeah. I, how much I liked it. You're not just like taking the whole bottle and guzzling it. Exactly. Like I, I hate you know, I know those those commercials that would show like that kind of stuff. I I don't Dude, there, there was like what I remember there was this one commercial, it was like it's this lady, she's going through like a, an airport like security. They take they like, open up her bag. It's just this bottle of ranch. It's like, ma'am, you really, ma'am, you can't have this on the flight, and the, and of course, her whole solution is to drink the fucking thing. Okay, like, 
wh why? Why? Why would you? I don't know. Why would you need a bottle of ranch on an airplane? You don't need a bottle of ranch. It was some kind of commercial. I don't know what it was advertising. I Probably guess ranch. ranch. Yeah. Yeah, most likely. But yeah, I just hate. I always hate that. It was also. It's also those like those memes. Where it's like the dude, it's also like that meme where the dude's like covered in fucking ranch. Like, that just disgusts me. I don't get the people who can get like all messy like that for like just exactly. a just for like a short for like video. Five seconds for like, like five seconds of a video. It's like, oh, uh, yes. It'll only be like talk for maybe like a like a month or two, and then it's like, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I came up with this funny idea. I'm gonna cover myself in something absolutely disgusting, and everybody yeah. will love it. Yeah, like that stuff disgusted me, but I still like I still like 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 I still like ranch. I just, I just have yeah. a limit to how much I like it. Yeah. So I always used to always do is I always had like a little like it'd be like a little like I don't know it's, it's kind of like a little bowl. Yeah. It was kind of like about the like the size. It's about the, like if you put like your like your thumb and your index finger in kind of like a circle. It would kind of be like the size of that, kind of. Yeah. So it wouldn't be like too much. Yeah. But it was just still, it was just like, like I always had a limit what and what food I always had it with. I always lived like my family because I liked. They always thought like, oh, you, you. They think I was the kind of person to put ranch on pizza. No, absolutely. I, not. I, I don't get the people who do that. Like. Yeah, why, I don't. Why? Why would I want this on a pizza? Yeah. But what's your You're favorite? Like a, thing to put on pizza. Hmm. Now that's a... Um, I used to have Papa, John, Papa John's a lot. I always loved the garlic sauce they had. Mm. Yeah. I never really actually... I, never, I always, like, with that, I, I also just used that as, like, a dip because that was really... It was really good. Yeah. Marinara sauce works pretty well because that's just putting more sauce. Yeah. I gotta say, the Papa John's garlic, garlic bread... Garlic bread with the, uh... Call it cheese bread with the pasta. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. It's not we haven't used really Papa John's all that much. We usually eat. I usually eat like we usually eat like Marco's for like Costco pizza. Costco's good. I like Costco. Yeah. The only yeah. things I usually get there in their food court is the pizza and like they used to have the one near me. There was like berry smoothie type thing. But now it's yeah. gone, and I'm sad because they got rid of it for like mango something. I haven't been to Costco in a very long time. Like, like I've always seen, like I've seen it most of the time. I'm like when I'm driving to those places, but like I never, I haven't been in one in so long. Yeah, we got free samples. Like we, like for me and my family, I think we used to use it like when I was at my old house. But once we moved, we kind of we were we never really used it that much. Yeah. But my dad usually goes into Costco for work and stuff. Mm. Your dad works he, at Costco? Uh no, he does no, he does um he does ship and he grabs stuff from uh. Costco. Yeah. Uh one of the things I remember from Costco, there was a, they always had like this stuff they always had like this meal at the deli that we would always grab for like maybe like a weekend dinner. Yeah. I can't remember what it was it was always it was like a spicy it was like chicken, I think it was like spicy chicken. We would always call. I mean, what's that name for it? It was like, it was some. It was something like burn your mouth, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> something like, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it was good. It was like good times. My family will usually get like maybe a rotisserie chicken, or we get this like street taco type thing. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what we get from Costco. Mm. Yeah. So, on to the next thing. Mm. When you think about, like, vegetables and fruits, what's, like, your thoughts on them? Is it, like, do you think of it as, like, scientific-type turns, where it's, like, if it has, like, seeds or something, if it's a fruit, and then it's, like, if it doesn't, it's oh, a it's vegetable. like, the whole, like, tomato debate, like, is it a vegetable yeah. or is it a fruit? Like, when um, you count those out? I don't really know, honestly. Like, I feel like it could really be used for either one. Like, yeah, it was like the whole thing was like, I think it was like if it was a, if it's a fruit, it grows on it, it grows on the surface. If it's a vegetable, it grows in the ground, something like that. 
Because it's like... But that, that is entirely true. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yes. To finish off my uh, fruit salad, I put some ketchup on it. Because ketchup yeah. it com- has tomatoes, and tomatoes are a fruit. I just think yeah. of it as, if I think it's a vegetable, it's a vegetable. And but it's sh- a fruit. It's a fruit. Yeah, that's how it works. So, I see that. what's your favorite type of meat? Ooh. Fried chicken. Mm. I like shrimp. Shrimp's really good. Shrimp yeah, shrimp's pretty good, good too. It's like, best ocean meat, shrimp. Yeah. Best land meat, probably be chicken. Yeah. The chicken is like, for the past like while, the chicken has mainly been the food I mostly eat. Yeah. Like, ever since I started, work, I started working at, like, at, at Target, I kind of just been. I have. I always get like home late. I get up like. I get home late usually at nine. I just always made like a, like a grilled, ch- like a fried chicken sandwich usually. Oh. Usually, oh, I always have for dinner. Unless, unless my parents made left something for me, me before I got home. Yeah. Oh, it depends. But yeah. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Hmm. I don't really know. I haven't really, I haven't really thought of much about like different kinds of che- cheeses. If I didn't really guess, I would say maybe, maybe mozzarella. Uh, I like that with cheddar. We have this thing of smoked gouda, and I like it a lot. Okay. And I also like provolone. Yeah. And of course, when it comes to cheese, you gotta think grilled cheese. Yeah, that's true. Now that's, a, good. now that's a good thing to do with cheese. Yeah. Those are made to good tortillas with them as well. Not tortillas. Uh, quesadillas. Quesadillas. That's it. Yeah. I used to do it when I was younger. I always, I always did was why do I have to make a quesadilla? I would do the stupid. I would do like um. I wouldn't make it with like uh like a like with a stove. I would always just get like a tortilla, put some cheese on it, put it in a microwave. Uh, you can do it wasn't that. Wasn't the best, for, like... but it was it was all right, I guess. <laughs> That's like a microwave type thing or uh, nachos. Yeah. But yeah, nachos. Yeah, just like some chips, some cheese, throw it in yeah. a microwave. Yeah. <sighs> What's your favorite thing to drink? No, really, you. I don't have a lot of like drink options. I usually just I really only drink water a lot. Yeah, I used to drink milk a lot when I was younger, but I just kind of randomly just stopped drinking milk. I don't know why. Just stop. I just kind of stopped. Yeah. It, like with like the whole thing with sodas and stuff, I don't really like a lot of sodas. I don't. I don't really drink a lot of them. I just. Yeah. Like I've drank like maybe Dr. Pepper I've drank a couple of times, but I don't like my at I like an actual like I only drink water. No like, shakes I, I drink those too sometimes, but I don't have them often. It's like you're not gonna go out of your way to find like something other than water to drink. Yeah. Like man, I, I'm gonna go down to the gas station and buy myself a soda because I'm really feeling it right now. Yeah. We go with the theme of sodas. What's your favorite chip? Mm. Um, trying to think. What are they called? What are they called? Because for me, like, I like a lot of types of chips, like, mm. like a uh, baked variety of chips. Those ones are good. Mm. Like uh, sour cream and onion, those are pretty good. Pringles yeah. are pretty good, you know. Oh yeah, Pringles are really, really good. But I find it funny. I find it funny how like the whole like oversimplifying of the brand for Pringles. It literally just removed like I. It's rather his hair, where it's like I guess it was supposed to be his hair. I always thought it was like it always looked like eyebrows to me. Yeah. He has um, no eyebrows. Yeah, uh, laser. I like the laser. Those ones are pretty good. I always have those. I like the bit 
Better machine that's usually in, like, in the break room. That or Doritos. Yeah. Postitos, that, that's what I'm trying to think of. Mm. Oh, um. Okay. Yeah, that playing balloons tower defense six right now monkeys love bananas bananas are a fruit they got seeds they're small not bad so what's your favorite fruit hmm 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 Cause I'm like oh, a ha- pineapple is my favorite. I haven't had like a lot of fruits recently. Like, it doesn't have to be recent. Just gotta be. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's just like as well in my life. I haven't really had that lot of lot of fruits. Like most of probably have is mo- it's mostly like apples. Yeah, apples are good. I like the uh, like honey crisp. For me, it's like I can only have like apple slices. Yeah. Because, because I cannot bite into an apple. Uh, Both too cold. because like, well, then also because I had br- I had braces for a good while. Uh, but yeah, also the cold thing because my teeth have I have the thing where it's like if you bite into something cold, it's just your ner- the nerves in your teeth just go haywire, <laughs> or more I guess your gums just go haywire, and it's like yeah, no, okay. What is happening? What is the sensation? It hurts. It's pain. Well, yeah, I I don't understand the people who eat like ice cream. <laughs> if you can bite like something cold, yeah. I don't get it. Like the most I can do yeah. is maybe crunch on some ice. Yeah, like it's like with ice, it's like the, it's like a more harder thing. It's like it you like a bite with like the other part of your teeth. But it's something like ice cream. Or like like an ice cream sandwich, it gets in like it gets like your teeth like sink into it, which gets it down into your gums. Mm-hmm. It's like really like what it get what it gets. Yeah. That's why I feel that's why it's like harder with ice. It's like that doesn't it doesn't you're you're it's not soft, so you don't like yeah. you don't sink into it. But yeah, like a popsicle is maybe like the closest I can really get to biting something down. It's because mm-hmm. like. I can get it like more like like back in my back teeth. Mm. That's usually how, how I bite how I try to bite a popsicle. It's kind of like put it kind of toward the back of my teeth to get it there. But it's back there. It's fine. It's when it's like my front teeth. It's like my front pair of teeth. It's when it actually like actually hurts. For me, when it comes to popsicles, I like use my like lips kind of as a shield, and I kind of use those to yeah. bite down. I do that too sometimes. I do that too sometimes. What kind of popsicles do you use? Do you kind of eat like the uh, the ones on the sticks? Where do you eat like those? What those ones are like in the little like what do they call like like the little slit things? Yeah. Uh, you know more of the ones on sticks. Uh, you mean kind of like a push pop type one or? It's like that. I'm, I'm trying to remember what they're called. They're kind of like the ones that are like in the, the little like, but they're kind of it's like the kind of, they're like in the plastic that's like the same as like kind of pl- where you put straws. Mm. I don't know what I can't remember what they're called. Uh, do you know what they? Those kind the ones of... you use. They can't. There's just like a pole. There's like a pole. There's like a pole, kind of. That's basically what sticks are. Well, yeah. Hold on. Let me. It's a pole into. Poles. Pole um, stuff. Pop. I'm trying to remember. The... I don't know what they're called. Fun pop. Fun pops. I don't know if I think that's what they are. That. They're like. Uh... Oh, uh-huh. let me send you an image of it. Send you an image. They're, they look like I put it in the uh, VC chat. They look like this. This is the one I'm kind of talking about. Is bees? Uh, oh, push pops. pops. That's what they're called. Other oh, pops. Push pop. Uh, Other pops. Oh, those just have a, have a lot of names. <laughs> yeah, they have like okay. So it's the, like the ones that are in a sleeve. That's yeah, it that's it. Sleeve, not socket, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, those ones are pretty good. I like them. Yeah. It's like, the only thing about those ones is it's rather they actually taste good or it's just, like, kind of flavored water. Yeah. That's that's what it is whenever. But I always, like, when it came to those, I always just only got, like, the uh, strawberry, I think it was. Mm. 
I always just got the red ones. I was like those. Yeah. But yeah. Man, who decided to make raisins? You know, it's like who decided? Oh yes, let's dry a grape and put like salt on it. Yeah. What crazed person thought that was what we needed in society, huh? Yeah. They I are... think when I was young, there was like a certain kind of like, it was like those little like, um, uh, there used to be like a kind of like raisin I used to eat as a kid. I don't remember what, it, I don't remember what they're called. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah sun made nat natural yeah, California made... raisins. Probably I didn't eat those when I was a kid, but I haven't eaten them since. Yeah, because it's like, why would you want to dried out grape? Because like, some of the best part about grapes is they're juicy, you know. They. Who wants a dry, salted thing? That's yeah. what chips are. For. Yeah. What about raisins? I was gonna say I can't remember what they were. Oh yeah, the the word the like. Cookie rate the cookies with raisins as far as meal raisin. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's basically the ones that they're that they're disguised to look like like chocolate chip cookies. Like look guys, it, those it, are the most e evil. <laughs> look guys, it totally isn't made with like that's like a <laughs> It's like uh those like cookie or like people who bake stuff with with like hidden drugs, it's like that. That's even <laughs> worse than it. It's like yeah, okay. Yeah. You can make like your your like drug bakery stuff, but don't you dare go putting raisins in there. That's <laughs> the bad stuff. Hey, we're we're on your arrest. Boy, because of the drugs, the, the British no, because there's raisins in these things. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who who likes raisins? Ew. You know what? Brownie. You know what? We were gonna let you off, but now that we found that there was raisins in here, we're giving you the death penalty. Yeah. <laughs> so kids, don't put raisins in anything, or you're gonna get the death penalty. I don't remember what those brownies are called. Hot oh. brownies, that's what they're called. Yeah. I don't remember what the, what the hell they were called. But yeah, those would usually be like found like usually like in uh like those that, that one group of teenagers have houses, man, those just at concerts. Mm. Yeah. The, you, the food pyramid at like the very smallest tiny top bit, it's just like drugs. Yeah. It's like oh yeah, so above like, like the sugars and all that. Drugs. A little while ago, I think my uh, my grand uncle here took my my uh, my grandmother to a concert once. Yeah. And one of the rules we like gave it was like if anyone offers you a brownie, don't take it. <laughs> don't eat the brownies at a concert. Well, another point about that time was uh, me and my family we were driving we were like driving somewhere for like some event. Uh, I think we were just like going to like, a family friend's house, and our mom was talking about about the whole thing with uh, my grandma. She was talking about how she saw like someone like so and saw someone at the concert. It was like a she's good as a dog dog person. And me, and me and my brother oh, just looked at We're just like the furry. <laughs> yep. Like, we just immediately knew what it- We just immediately knew, we were like, yep. <laughs> oh no, not the obviously awful cursed thing for your grandma to see. It was also funny, when we were driving back from church for, uh, for Christmas, <laughs> just out of nowhere, my grandmother just asked me, just asked my brother, she, and my brother asked, asked him something. He was like, you guys, David more that but I was like, what is it? And, was, he, was, and he was like, what, the, what a meme is? I was like, oh. <laughs> hey, like, okay. <laughs> what's this meme thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But she said it correctly. She said it meme. Yeah. 
But yeah, it was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, also when me and my brother were driving driving to the church, our dad we were talking about like our dad had talked something about like about Die Hard and it being like a Christmas movie. Yeah. And then me and my brother we started go on the rest of the uh, rest of the drive there. We just went over like different movies that had a Christmas and a that was had a de- during Christmas and what would be considered a Christmas movie. Like how Die Hard people wouldn't say it's not a Christmas movie, but because it's set in Christmas, it's a Christmas movie. And yeah. we were, we were like thinking of different movies that would have to follow that same logic. They would just like it would just go back and forth like. Iron Man, it's like Harry Potter, just like anything that. that like mentions Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. It's just more just like it has a scene where it's like it's set in Christmas, like in Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. It has it's like has that one scene during Christmas. Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> and we also had that joke of like, I, I think it was me and me the joke was of, of like the Amazing Spider-Man two, where he's like standing over his girlfriend's grave, like his dead girlfriend's grave. It's like it's just like going over the different like the seasons. It's just one. He's just in winter. He's just looking down on the grave. So it's a Christmas movie because there's snow. <gasps> wow. Yeah, we just kept jumping. Up. Just kept doing that kind of jokes. Yeah. What's your favorite holiday foods, though? Hmm. Ooh. I'm not sure. I think probably cookies, I guess. Because mm. that's got like a festive kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's like what are the what are the most thing you eat like during like Christmas dinner? Uh, we didn't really have much of a Christmas dinner because we usually yeah. do a uh, more of a breakfast brunch type thing. Uh, okay. And the main thing we had was uh, pigs in a blanket. Mm. Well, we, well, me and my family, used, we always did. Uh, before my grand, my grandfather passed, we used to always go to Sumo's, like, after church. Mm. It's just because it was just a cool place. To, the rice there is really good. Yeah. But, like, this year, we had... We, we kind of just had what was basically sort of like a... It was sort of like Thanksgiving dinner, kind of. Yeah. But it was in Christmas. Uh, and every time for like, for me and my brother, every Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, we would always, we would always mostly, I would always mostly eat like the bread rolls. Uh, they were just, they're just so good. Rolls are like really good. Just yeah. For no reason. It's just, it's bread. Bread is just really yeah. good. It's just small, it's a small bread. It's like, oh yes, it's not big bread, so, but it's small bread, and it's like, it's like a whole miniature loaf, so it's not just like, yeah. here's a piece, here's like, yeah. just a thing of white bread, yeah. uh, you get one bread. the same way with like, bread. with like, pe- like pizza, like, cheese, like, cheese bread. Yeah. I always do the, I always do the same thing with that, I always, every time we get it, I'm just like, I'll take a couple. It's That's like, just... throughout the day, I just... Could grab a, a piece. Of, just keep grabbing a couple pieces. Oh man, here's some perfectly placed bread. I'm just gonna take half of it. That out. <laughs> man, I wonder where all the bread is going. Totally, I'm not stealing it all. Hmm. What's your favorite type of bread? Oh, garlic bread. Mm, garlic bread's good. I like. Yeah. I like most breads that have like, like a actual crunchy crust and like a soft inside. I don't... Yeah, those are good. Like I like rather like that with just the soft bread all around. Yeah, it's like I, I don't like the ones where it's like, yeah, it's a crust. Yeah, it's like entirely cr- crunchy. <laughs> it's like why is the inside crunchy? That's a yeah. crouton. Like full on like toasted like toasted toast. Like I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Like like I know I I always say like like sometimes for like bread that I would like say I, I I'm having toast, but really I'm just having just like melted buttered bread. Yeah. It would simply be Italian bread, but whatever. <laughs> I like toast. Toast is pretty yeah. good. 
What's your favorite yeah, thing but, but like, for breakfast, though? It's the same logic with the other ones, where it's like, I don't like it fully, like, hosted. Mm-hmm. Like, in the way of for mine, it's more of just kind of, it's just very much warmed bread. we got that warmed bread. So, again, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the... They don't usually have, like, the crunch with it. I usually like it just, soft, just being soft bread. Yeah. Like pancakes. Yeah. Pancakes, mm-hmm. you know? Pancakes. Yeah, pancakes are pretty good. I like pancakes. I don't know if you could yeah. tell that, but I like pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. Yeah. It's like a cake, but in a pan. Because it's yeah. a pancake. So I like black, Kevin. black, black cake, yeah. Yeah, like Kevin syrup. Yeah, but when it comes to waffles, I add in peanut butter because peanut butter tastes good. Yeah, and that's what I have for breakfast: two waffles in a toaster with some syrup and some peanut butter. I don't usually have peanut butter all, all that often. I like peanut butter. No, nah, it's alright. Because all it is, it's just peanuts, but better. No. Nah. That's why I like it. No. Nah. Because peanuts are already good. No. Nah. What's your favorite food name? Favorite food name? Yeah, like, if you were to, like, say a name of a food, what's your favorite one to, like, say? I like legumes. It kind of sounds funny. Rat patoo. Uh, when I was born, I'm sorry, there was one, like, salsa brand I found that, that I found the name kind of funny. Yeah. I don't know the I don't know if that's how you say it, but I always I always say it I always say it as ragu. Uh, ragu's house. Oh ragu. Got some of this ragu. It came from a rag and it's some goo. Ragu. Let's find it. Ragu's salsa. Ragu's like a pretty like I think generic sauce. Yeah, it would be you. R U G. Let me see actually how it's actually pronounced, actually. I think it is just ragu. I'm basically putting an N on accent. I hate what I hate Google Translate, it just takes out the N. It's like if you try to delete something, it just completely deletes the entire thing. Yeah, you have to like click it again so I mean, then yeah. it won't do all that. Yeah. That is ragu, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was just me to just say it, just say it because I thought it was just funny, but that was just the actual name. Oh, Ragu. Ragu. Oh, Ragu. Ragu Goo Gaga, you're a baby. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to have for lunch? Um. Usually chicken nuggets. I like a nice sandwich. Yeah. Just a nice cold cut sandwich. What time do you usually take lunch? Uh, around twelve usually. Twelve to like one is the time that I usually have lunch. Yeah, same. Usually, if it's like if it's a day that I'm working, I usually try. Since I I usually work at like at two or something, I usually try to take take my lunch usually about like about twelve. Yeah. If it's on, if it's like an off day for me, I usually I usually wait a little bit around one. To kind of start making it because that's one because that's one like uh YouTuber I watch usually uploads and it's like man I'll, I'll make something to watch it. You, you gotta have like your like content to go with the food. Yeah. Because if you don't, then it's just you sitting there sadly eating, and no one wants that. Yeah. What's your favorite food to make, though? Um, hmm. Let's think. I've only made, like, one, like, 
I actually like made like one food and that was and that would be like a uh uh be like a quesadilla. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that's the only one I've really like actually made as of recent. Yeah. Made some chili tonight. That's that's cool. Yeah. I don't really like it in like and like I know you and I have two in family and we just always take like the food we made in there was pretty, was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like there was like those uh like the food I remember we we would make in there would be like uh it'd be like pizza. There was one that was like cookies maybe and there was like, I remember, one was, like, like garlic uh, knots. Yeah, garlic knots was like the thing that yeah. I remember from that. And they were good. Yeah. Because it's just bread and garlic. What could go wrong with bread and garlic? Nothing. Yeah. I remember drinking a lot of, like, Kool-Aid, like, way too much. Yeah. Every time. Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's just flavored, sweet. Yeah. It's sweet stuff. It's just what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's what every kid wants. Sweet. Mm. What's your favorite dessert? Mm. Probably, probably just like ice cream or cookies. One of those two. Yeah. Like fudge, fudge is good. Yeah. But if it's like kind of late at night and I'm wanting something, usually ice cream. Yeah. Beans. 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 You like black yeah. beans, kidney beans, red beans and rice, jelly beans. Jelly beans are pretty good. Got some jelly beans. You want some? comes to school food I usually bring my own the only yeah, thing I, I did too I always brought my uh, I always brought like school ones with me the only times that I would actually get myself something would be uh Crispitos like yeah. Crispitos I, I think the only really thing I've actually like the only really thing I've I've actually just usually bought at the school would have most just been like a fork or something. <laughs> you brought a fork like my, to school. That's all you brought. No, no not brought. I would bought. I would buy yeah. at the school. Like yeah. if like if my family forgot to like had like a fork or something, I would just buy just buy one at the thing. Yeah. I was like, like I'm not I'm never gonna eat anything here. But like, I guess I'll just buy one real fast. Yeah. It's like, don't really want any of the food. Yeah. So, just get the food. Mm. Just get to eat the foods. Man, yeah. I remember like. When there was, like, only specific days where you could buy something sweet at, like, the cafeteria. Mm. Uh, You can only, on, like, Tuesdays, that's the only day where you get to choose, like, a sweet thing. And it's like, they just get rid of that whole thing. 
I see. I've yeah. seen people with like way too much like food at school. Like, dang, bro, you gonna feed your entire class with that? I don't get the people who like bring stuff to eat like just during class, not even just like at like lunch. They'll just have like like something to snack on throughout the whole day. Yeah. Maybe you should, you know, bring yourself more to eat during lunch instead of having like a ginormous bag of chips. Yeah. Like no teacher actually wants you to be eating during the class. Mm. Bacon. I like bacon. Bacon's good. Yeah. Do you, do you like bacon on its own or do you like it on a burger or like Uh I prefer it on, on its own. Yeah. Like I'll have it on a burger if it's there because I like bacon, but it's like I will also yeah. very much enjoy it if it's just on its own as well. Yeah. What's your favorite food you've seen in a video game, though? My favorite what? Food that you've seen in a video game. Hmm. Is it as simple as a Minecraft steak? Or mm. some really complicated thing? Not sure. I, was like, I guess like a like I guess a Minecraft on Apple is pretty interesting. Yeah, but I feel like that would be just like, hey, that's probably just break your teeth. Mm, I love chomping on literal metal. It's my favorite. Yeah, I'd say maybe saying if, it, if it's good, if it's like one of the best foods in Minecraft, then I'd probably do it. <laughs> yeah, I sure do love puffer fish. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, poison. <laughs> I sure do love eating raw chicken sushi. It sure is delicious. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite, run flesh. Mm. I sure do love spider eyes. Mm. What you mean this meat is mysterious seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> what was that? Death. By amazing <laughs> culinary skills. I was not expecting a yell. <laughs> was it been that, that agon that agonizing just I don't know what that was? The agonizing pain of bad food. But just like just food, like from some form of media. Mm. 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 I gotta think on that one. Mm, technically, uh, cooking shows is a form of media, so, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Right, right, I'll afraid of that. Cartoon. Ooh. Maybe like something from Adventure Time. Oh, they got some. Yeah, rather, some of, rather from Adventure Time or like. Yeah, both of us have been done. There was one, there's one like sandwich that I saw from Adventure Time that I actually had made once. Yeah. I think it was like, it was like some kind of like egg sandwich BMO made, I think. Let me look it up. Uh, BMO. Oh, Adventure Time. Adventure Time. BMO egg sandwich. Uh, here we, yeah, special sentient sandwich. Huh. I feel it's actually from this video right here. This is one guy I've seen who's made like, a lot of like cartoon foods. His name is uh Cooking with Fred. 
Yeah. Made a lot. Of, he's made like a. I've seen him make a lot of these. But there was, there was just like a bit, like a tutorial that I actually made. It. I was like, no, why not? <laughs> sure, I'll make it. <laughs> sure, I'll make it. sure, I'll make the sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it was Bimo Sentient Sandwich. That's what it was called. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it may not have been actually sentient, but hey, it was pretty good. Yeah. Sure, it may not be the true thing, but at least it tasted good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was just one sandwich at the time where it was literally just a lobster sole. Yeah. <laughs> it just imputed to it. Yeah, like Jake's perfect sandwich. Yeah. You could have like any chef cook for you. Who'd you choose? I don't know. So like, yeah, I guess a lot of people would say Gordon Ramsay because he's really the only cook I like famous cook I would actually know. Yeah, he's like just the chef. Yeah, but like I don't know. Like I guess I guess it's like would Guy Fre Freary Freary I think yeah. name. is he a sort of cook? Yeah. Like, I guess he would be, yeah. Uh, it's just anyone. You could get anyone to cook for you. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, I guess it kind of depends on the kind of food, I guess. I yeah. Know. Like you want, I, I guess I guess from Gordon Ramsay. You wouldn't want somebody who doesn't know how to cook cook yet? Well, it's more just like based on my preference, I guess. It's more the thing. Uh. If you could make any food, what food would you want to know how to make? Hmm. That's a good that's a good one, I think. Because there's a lot of foods out there that are like really complicated. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you have to like know how to make it if you want to truly make it. I guess I would maybe say a steak, maybe. Yeah. Like just most of this, so you can get to that perfect like part or that perfect actual steak. Yeah. But I feel like if I were to make like an actual steak, I'd probably fu fuck up and make it something that's not like more like kind of like the whole thing of like, oh, you want a rare, medium rare. Tire. Yeah, that kind of stuff. It's like, I feel like if I would have made a say, I'd pull it fucking off and get it wrong. <laughs> you want a not even, like, murdered cow? Or do you, you want, want a tire? Uh, yeah, car tire. <laughs> ah, yes, you ordered the car tire option. Very well. Just, Very go well just goes into the parking lot. Goes up to, like, yeah. their car. Here's basically what you ordered. Same thing. <laughs> Just slices someone's car, the tire of someone's car. All right, here you go. Starts chewing on it. Mmm, perfect. Just what I wanted. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, when it comes to steak, it can... As long as it's not a tire, pretty good. Yeah. As long as, as long as it's not one, like, kind of, it's just quite literally just, like, just still raw. Yeah. I don't know what that was, what that's called, but, that, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't... It might be just raw. It's like, there's just, like, oh, yes, we've done all this, we have, like, all these foods that are completely safe, and then there's people who are like, oh, yes, I still want basically, like, awful food. Yeah. It's like... Oh yes, to make this food, you have to like, it's like, to make this, basically let it rot, that's one of the steps. Yeah. Oh yes, to have this, uh, let it sit in a 
like just a jar full of bacteria. And there you go. You've made it. What would you rather have, like... We rather have, be at one of those restaurants that like they cook in front of you, or be one of, be at one that like they cook like in the back. I don't think I, I don't. I wouldn't want to cook that like cooks in front of me. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel the ones like that kind of like, cook in front of you are are, are very entertaining. Yeah, there's that, but it's like also if I see them do some something, I don't want to see that. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like, like, kind of the ones, like, a sumo, it's where they kind of just, like... Hibachi. Like, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, hibachi, that's it. I thought, like, I thought that cool, but it was kind of just... There's something that you get to see instead of just, like, sitting around and just, like, wondering, like, where the hell is my damn food? Yeah, that's... You can see it right in front of you. <laughs> that's nice, but then it's, like, also, it's, like, they gotta do all the theatrics and all that, so it's gonna take yeah, a true. while. Man, just... Yeah, I don't care, just throw it in the microwave, give it to me, right now. Don't don't waste time. Don't be making don't your volcanoes. Don't be throwing that random thing at that person. Just give me my food. I love drinking water to a large quantity. Yummy. Do you ever have, do you ever have that thing when like you go like you go into like a movie theater and it's like you just like you just eat the popcorn just before the movie starts. No, because I never get movie theater popcorn. I, found. I usually because when it comes to my family, we usually go to like the dollar store, pick out like some candy from there. Yeah, have I, that. I get that. Because you know, prices are very large. Yeah, I think that, I think me and my family have only done that like once. <laughs> I but think. on the times I have had popcorn, I do eat it. Yeah. Well, I do eat it, but I always eat it like like just before the movie starts, like on accident. Like I'll like I won't have like big like pinches of it. I'll just have like one yeah. at a time mm -hmm. until I get through the whole bag. Yep. The other thing was like when you're at a restaurant, you like drink the you like drink a lot of the water. I I drink a lot of water when it comes to restaurants. Yeah. It's like but by the time that like I'm on like my second refill, others are on like not even done yet. Yeah. Ribs. I like ribs with barbecue. I love barbecue. Yummy, yummy yeah. barbecued meats. Delicious. Yeah, those are the, the way how you also just threaten us with it. I threaten you with my love of barbecue. Do yeah. not get yeah, in between. Yeah. Don't get in between me and where I'm going to go if I'm having barbecue. Yeah. You won't be clean by the end of the night. Yeah. If you could only have like one food, what would it be? Uh, that's, a, that's a good one. But pizza with chicken, honestly. Yeah. I want those too. Because with like, chicken, you can do like a lot with. Yeah. Like, does it be a specific kind of like form of chicken, or is it going to be any chicken? <laughs> like, specific. Like, if you could only have like one type of chicken. Maybe chicken nuggets, maybe. Cause that one just like that one just like a hey, grilled chicken, one of those two. Because when it comes to that, if it's like, oh yeah, man, it just has to have chicken. Then it's just this, but with chicken. That with, but with chicken. Not nah, man. You're only gonna have nuggets. Jesus Christ! What? I'm just I'm just scrolling through and just saw this one thing. It just says, in 1980, when a group of loggers... So basically, they were cutting out this tree. They found what, what looked to be a mummified corpse of a hunting dog. Oh. And the image of it is just absolutely horrifying. <laughs> when that curse when that cursed image is. If I think you see that in a horror movie. <laughs> if I could only eat one thing, it'd probably be, like, some type of sandwich, maybe. 
No. Yeah. Because it'd have to be something where it's like there's at least some form of like changing it. Because if it's yeah. like specifically this type of soup, then it's like you're going to get real tired of that. But if it's like just any. Yeah. Would you, would you rather uh, only have one type of food, or you can only have one type of food once? I think one type of food. I would, I would rather do like every type of food only once, because then it'd be at least trying more stuff than yeah, I guess. just one. Yeah, I guess. Milk and cereal, milk and cereal, 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 and milk. What's your favorite type of cereal? Uh, I've really only have had Honey Toast Crunch. That's the name of it. I'm, I'm not sure that's what it is. Yeah, I think you're combining yeah, uh, not, yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch with that. Yeah. You know, something crunchy, I think. Yeah, some of the... Yeah. I'm not sure as that is mostly the only one I've really had, but on the Jaffa doesn't really have cereal, like, with milk. I just have it just normal, just plain. Yeah. I'll, I'll usually I, have, I have it with milk. I've done that same before where I've mixed, like, two things into one. Like, was one time someone someone had asked me, like, have I ever had Jimmy John's before? And I was like, I don't think I have. And at the entire time, I was just thinking, Jimmy John. I'm trying to remember, like, what Jimmy John's were. And I was just thinking, Jimmy, like, I started thinking it was like, if I come and mix it with, with Papa John's and Jimmy John's. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy John's is basically just sub shop. If you could only eat at like one restaurant, what would it be? Yeah. What would your one restaurant be if you could only eat one? One restaurant. Oh, it's Zaxby's. Yeah. Got a That's good amount. Really good. I make my own restaurant where it has every single food. I have a mate. Yeah. Next piece has good sauce. I like the sauce there. We're down to two minutes left. Da 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 da. Any other food related things you would like to bring up? What? <laughs> We have two minutes left. Anything that you would like to bring up? Um, hmm. I think. What's your favorite kind of candy? Twix. Twix? Okay. Pasta water or hot dog water? Pasta water or hot dog water? Yeah. I guess pasta water. But neither one sounds great, but... How do you like pasta? With pasta? Like, know. for me, I, I really just always just like plain noodles. I like the plain noodles. I don't like a lot of sauce when it comes to pasta, really. Yeah. Like... But butter and noodles with salt and pepper is pretty good. That's really all I really have. Yeah, those are pretty good. Yeah. In the last 30 seconds, I'm going to start talking about stuff. Like, subscribe. And that will be all for this recording.
This has been Pixel Pancake on the skillet. Youch, it was very hot. Cooking and food goes crazy. Goodbye.